Byron and Elizabeth. Thank you so much for being on time. How are you doing today? Did you have a good day? Are you still driving home? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Are you still driving? No, I'm not. You're at home already? Yes, I'm home. Okay, that's nice. Oh, thank you so much for being on time. Um, today I'm not going to be able to turn on my camera since I'm not um, feeling really well. But however, we're going to develop a normal class and I'm going to start sharing. I sent the presentation back again so that you can have it handy. Now I am sharing my screen. Can you see? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you so much for confirming. Well, uh, this is where we stopped yesterday. Um, we're going to discuss a, a little bit about to write a composition or a paragraph. And let's see, we have a supporting an opinion. When writing a composition that supports an opinion, first present the opinion in the thesis statement, and then support support it in consequent and subsequent story paragraph with examples and detail. Um, to do so, we have one example here, and the next slide we have this paragraph. We're going to read the composition here, and then we're going to answer these two questions. What is the writer's opinion? And what are the reasons given to support the opinion? As you can see, it is start like uh, with a, um, uh, one, one opinion and then it, it is supported with more details and examples. Let's just start with the thesis um, center. Having almost unlimited credit is certainly one of the many advantages of using credit cards. Okay. However, this benefit can easily turn into a major problem. With unlimited credit, people spend so much money. I think there should be a limit to the total amount of credit people can have. This way, the total amount of credit on all the credit cards together could never go over a certain percentage of their income. Okay. I volunteer to read the next paragraph. Many compulsive shoppers. Me, teacher. Thank you, Emerson. Many compulsive shoppers run up such high debts that they go bankrupt, creating problems for their families as well as for the people to whom they all owe money. Currently, it is easy for people to accumulate many credit cards. Although the credit cards have limits, the number of credit cards is not limited. People with 10 credit cards, each with a 5,000 limit, have $50 of credit, even though they might not be able to pay all of their bills. Such a situation can quickly lead to bankruptcy. Okay, thank you so much, Emerson. I volunteer to continue reading the last part. People need to be given. Volunteer. Nobody? Okay. I will read. People need to be given an absolute credit limit. If people were not permitted to go over this limit, they will have to be more responsible with their money and evaluate which purchases were most important to them. I think that the actual limit on a credit card spending should be based on income. 
so that the trade would be based on the ability to pay. Okay, as you can see, um, first in this part, in the first paragraph, you may see um, this is uh, the opinion in the thesis statement. That's the opinion. And then in the next parts of the paragraph, you, you could notice that the, um, in those paragraphs, they include examples and details about the first sentences, which was the thesis for the opinion. Um, now, what is the writer's opinion? What is the writer's opinion? I think the the opinion of the writer writer it's about uh, the how it's easy to people uh going going to backdrop because of the because of the banks. I mean the banks doesn't care about the credit card uh history from the from people. Mm -hmm. They just want to they just want to uh, give um, loans to get people in debt. Yes, uh, apparently that's their business. Very good, Emerson. Thank you so much. What are the recent events to support the opinion? Volunteer? So basically, and uh, number one, the writer's opinion is that people should not, well, people should have a limit, right, based on their income with the credit cards. And then they, uh, the writer gives reasons to support that opinion. What are the reasons? You can scan the reading and let me know. Ready with the answer for the number two?
One of the reasons is an endless first part. Many compulsive shoppers run up such high debt that uh, they go bankrupt. And therefore, they will have problems with their family. That's one of the reasons. Can you mention another reason? Did you find another reason to support the writer's opinion? Thank you for letting me know that um, there were some of you will not be able to participate, but thank you so much for letting me know, Emerson. Um, and for the rest of you, uh, maybe another reason is that maybe people can have a limit on the credit card itself, but there is not a limit on the credit, on the amount of credit cards that people can have. And therefore, it's, it's more difficult to have a, a control on how much have you spent when you just using credit card and you're not using only one. So that's probably. But let us move to the next exercise. Uh, in part B, it's complete one of these opinions on shopping or use your own, um, then present your opinion in a thesis statement. No one under 18 should be allowed to, for example, no one under 18 should be allowed to drive, maybe. Okay, that is, um, that is my opinion in a thesis statement. Then uh, make a list of details of example to you to support your thesis statement. And then write a composition with an introductory paragraph containing your opinion and at least one paragraph with supporting examples and details, like the one that we uh, that we just uh, read here. Okay, Alexandra is driving, so you're not able to participate. Thank you so much for letting me know. Uh, so, uh, I hope that the rest of you can, um, well, this is a writing exercise, so I, I guess it's going to be easier for you uh, to develop it at, uh, for the ones that are already at home, so you can do it uh, first. For example, your opinion, and then you um, you give more details and examples, such as the paragraph that we have here. And let's see. Um, you can choose one of these opinions, right? Complete them. No one under 18 should be allowed to, for example, drive. 
And then you said, I think that no one under the age of 18 should be allowed to drive. Since um, there have been many car accidents in which young drivers are involved. And probably one of the reasons is this and this and that. And you give more details to support your opinion. Or you can select number two, people with a lot of debt should what should people with a lot of debt do, according to your opinion? So you complete the sentence in a thesis statement and then you give more detail. Number three, stores should never give cash refunds or Number four, customers who break an item in a store should Number five, shoplifters should do community service by. So those are the five sentences that you have um, in this um, exercise B. You just select one and then work on your paragraph as um, following the example, right? Supporting your thesis statement, giving details. Do you have any question about vocabulary or the exercise itself? Questions? No teacher. No questions? Okay, I'll give you time for you to write your paragraph and let me know whenever you're ready to share the paragraph with the class.
Are you okay? Are you done? How are you doing? Do you need more time? Answer here in case that you have any questions. Or if you have finished, let me know so that we can share. Do you need more time? Yes, well, I haven't finished yet. Let me know when you're done so that we can share. Thank you so much for letting me know.
Okay, let us hear what you have. A volunteer to share. Anyone here? We have Miss Alexandra, Carla, Victor, Byron, Mario, uh, Hazel, Jesus, listeners, uh, Julissa, and the rest of you. Uh, is anybody ready to share their composition, their title? That's okay if you have not finished. Read what you have. Hello. Thank you, Alex. Okay. And so I'm going to read. Um, what I have. Uh, people with a lot of debt show, um, I wrote, stop to take more debt. <laughs> uh, in this country, often many people have many debts, and even they don't think about paying them. They just want to take advantage of others and don't see how their actions can make their lives worse. Bad financial decisions and debts are the perfect plan to worry about. If you want to get a house or a car or even something else, you must have a good credit record. If you are undisciplined and irresponsible with your own money, you won't get help of anyone. The people just help to others when they help themselves. A perfect idea is stop to take more debts and make a payment plan it could help you for your future. Okay, Alex, you did an excellent job. You're supporting your opinion with a very, very a nice paragraph with coherence, and you're following the step supporting your ideas perfectly. Thank you so much for sharing. Is there any other volunteer? Okay, so thank you so much, Alex. We're going to continue there with the next slide. And we're going to talk about advertisement, print advertisement. Um, here we have a picture of three different advertisements. Okay, as you see, we have magazine ads, company logos, and billboards. Which kind of, of this do you think is the most effective? Where else do you see advertisement? Let's start with the first question. Which kind do you think is the most effective? Talking about advertisement, print advertisement, magazine ads, company logos, or Billboards. Which of those three do you think is more effective? In my personal opinion, I think that uh, talking about print advertisement, the most effective for me, I would say that are uh, billboards. Because uh, magazine ads, I think that a few people maybe read magazine and company logos don't, for my opinion, they, they don't, uh, they don't 
thank you much. They don't have enough content. Dear boards have uh, like more information about the brand or or the product they are promoting. And uh, you see them everywhere. If you're driving in traffic, if you are walking by the streets, you're able to see the advertisement and so how to catch your eye and, and they, they are in your mind they can afford some time. So that's the reason why I think that the billboards are the most effective for me. What about you? What do you think? Which of three, the three ads or type of advertising is more effective for you? What do you think? Do you have any opinion for the first question? Which kind do you think is the most effective? Magazine ad, company logos, or billboard? No opinion, no comments. Can you hear me? Okay, I think that we're not going to be able to complete this exercise since I need your participation. So I'm going hello, to... Hello, teacher. Hello. And about okay. that, I think that the better um, advertising is the billboard. Mm -hmm. Because uh, there are... Um, on the street and many many drivers can can see see the, this billboard uh -huh. it is many drivers or pedestrians can see those billboards so it's yeah. easier. Mm -hmm. excellent thank you so much for your opinion where else do you see advertisement here we said um, magazine ads, company logos, and billboard, but 
Where else do you see advertisement? Besides uh, magazine companies or billboard? There are uh, any people that use a small, small billboard uh -huh. in your hands, in, in your hands, hand. uh -huh. and they are moving, twisting. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. this is other other way to to an answer. To see advertisement, yes, yeah. that is correct. Mm -hmm. Also, well, on TV, um, yes, there is another um another place or another means to see advertisement on TV, right? Yes. What about social media? Between the, the videos, um, there are there are many some some advertisements. Yes, that is correct. Also, in um, when you are searching maybe videos on um the but uh, but after the after the three second next. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> and also when you are surfing on the net, there are like little advertisements on the corner, on the top, on the right or right side. You can see uh, kind of little advertisements. So, yes. Well, thank you so much for sharing. And uh, now, with these opinions about advertisement, do you agree with them? What do you think makes a good advertisement? A volunteer to read part B? Let's read the opinions, a volunteer. Mr. Thank you so much. Part B. Yes, please. Okay, uh, read this option about advertisement. Did you agree with them? What do you think makes a good advertisement? I think consumers need to assist that advertisements be truthful in very respect. Teacher, what does it mean truthful? It's like confiable. Confiable. Mm -hmm. Okay. And continue. Que no, que no sean como, como, um, que no haya como mentira o, o truco. Y a veces que se ve que, que dice que desayuna, que no sé qué, y se ve el gran desayuno, bien bonito. Y cuando uno llega al lugar es una pobreza lo que le sirve. <laughs> sí. Thank you. That is true. Uh, next, it's it seems it seems to me that a good ad is a memorable ad, one that sticks in your head. <clears throat> I believe it is essential that an ad be not be clever and witty. In within, in order to be effective. What does mean witty, teacher? Clever and witty. Like um. Like um. With a sense of humor, like ingenioso u ocurrente. Okay. Some ads seem to demand to the customer customer by the product. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. like a hard sell approach. Mm -hmm. I think 
it's crucial that an app clearly communicated communicated the benefits of the product it is selling. Okay, so let's take a look. Um, for me, I agree with all, with, with most of them. Um, for example, the one that says that I think the hard sell approach. Yes, some us seem to demand that the customer buy the product, like the, like you are forced to buy the product and. I personally don't like that kind of sell, uh, the hard sell approach that they make you feel that you must buy because uh, it's mandatory because you need it and they and they trying to convince you in a tough way. I, I don't like that. What do you think of those? Do you agree with them? Okay, thank you so much for reading and sharing your opinion. We're going to check attendance. So I'm going to stop sharing for a little while and we're going to check attendance. Stay present when you hear your name. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Alex Enrique Lemus. Present teacher. Thank you, Alex. Carlos Emilio Cotto. Yes. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Jose <laughs> Noemi Ramos. Jose Noemi Ramos. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Alexander Lopez. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present teacher. Arturis Aymara Vaquerano. Present teacher. Much. Guadalupe Alexandra Calixto. Hazel Vanessa Menjiva. José Enrique Pineda. Present teacher. Elisa Yamile Tillanta. Carla Ivania Naya. Present teacher. Luis Javier Castillo. Present teacher. Gabriel okay. Saúl García. Present teacher. Okay. Manuel Alexander Vázquez. Present. Marilyn Alejandra Grande. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Ramírez. Present. Thank you, Mario. Melani Alexandra Martínez. Víctor Noé Bonilla. Present. Vidal Byron Ruiz. Present teacher. William Alexander Rosales. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
Okay, Alexander, thank you so much for writing. Eh, las disculpas, como les mencionaba al inicio de la clase, tengo la cámara apagada porque no me encuentro muy bien de salud. Entonces, pero estoy aquí, solo es que tengo el, el ojo izquierdo, o se me lleno de sangre. He tenido dolorcito de cabeza, pero ya estoy en tratamiento. Así que las disculpas, sí, estoy aquí, solo nada más tengo la cámara apagada porque no, no me siento bien. Y, y como les repito, el ojo se me ve bastante mal, pero aquí estoy, así que pueden dar su opinión, a, eh, estoy aquí, no tengo mi, el micrófono ahí habilitado por cualquier pregunta, si ustedes tienen nada más tengo la cámara apagada, eh, por eso ya espero que el día de mañana esté mejor del ojo y ya voy a poner la cámara. Uh, let's continue with the class. Don't worry, teacher. We are understand you. Thank you so much. And I hope you are better. Thank you so much. I, I hope that too. <laughs> I will do um as much as possible to get better soon. Yeah. And I, I didn't want to um to make the class to be reprogrammed, so I, I know it's I Eh, no me gusta que se alargue más, porque si no damos la clase, se tiene que reprogramar y se les va a hacer eterno el curso. <ríe> so, no. Mejor no, mientras se pueda hacer la clase. Uh, um, okay. Oh, Spencer is nice in the marketing. Defense of marketing. This is a reading. I include it here so that you can have it handy, but I'm going to share from the book material so it's the image the image can be clearer for you. For this reading, it is very interesting. It talks about some marketing strategies and experiments that they they do with the with the sense. Okay, so it says read the article quickly. Which senses were the focus of the marketing strategies and experiments mentioned? Choose the correct answer. Here we have the senses. Hearing, sight, smell, taste, and touch. Esos son lo que son los cinco sentidos. So, hearing, sight, smell, taste, and touch. We're going to read and then we're going to discuss which of these senses are mentioned in the reading. It's a sensory type and the sense of marketing. Is there a volunteer to read the first part of the paragraph from global to deodorant? Nadia, thank you so much. Okay. Global brands have become increasingly aware of the power power of sound, smell, touch, and sound to influence purchase behaviors. Continue? Yes, um, to the other end, in this part. It's the okay. okay. A fast food chain has trailed Sun. Uh, sense. How can I pronounce? Trail sense. Trail sun for use in its restaurant with the knowledge that this this that does not only draw draws 
in customer, but also improves their perception of their overall dining experience. A company that procedures proceed procedures. A company that produces a produces company sorry. that produces it company that produces a popular the other one for men has spent considerable sums perfecting the sounds of it also can to can to uh, amplify uh -huh. can to amplify amplify its its brand message of strength and effect effectiveness, effectiveness. Uh -huh. effectiveness. Yeah. This had a lend to a sprite that is noticeable, noticeable, noticeable louder. Excellent. Noticeable. Louder. Yeah. Louder, louder that there. I'm sorry. Louder. Noticeable louder. Noticeable louder. Mm -hmm. That their family, the other ones. Uh -huh. Than their email, the other one. Email. Email. Okay. Thank um, you, teacher. Okay. Thank you so much for reading. I volunteer to continue from a suburb stand up to they worked. Volunteer? Okay, I will read that part. A subtle scent of a particular sound can be just enough to awaken positive past association or simply layer our other sensory perception. Charles Spence, professor of experimental psychology and sensory consultant to Grand Points to to research conducted by a company about 15 years ago. The company discovered that by adding a fragrance to clothes, they were perceived by users as whiter even when they weren't. Oh, sounds interesting. Volunteer to continue. Other tricks? Me teacher. You can listen. listen. Yes, yes, I can hear okay. very well. O okay, uh, other tricks such as using high pitch music can drive people toward the top of the of a website. Professor Spence says, meanwhile, by simple changing the background color on their website. Companies can increase trust, trust word, I don't know, but <laughs> trustworthiness. Uh -huh. Trustworthiness, this, you did it well. Trustworthiness. trustworthiness. This is of particular value. For example, when asking customers to enter their credit card details. Mm -hmm. But brands do, do not always get Get it right. Back in two thousand eight, uh, one full company knew knew that consumers responded positively, not only to crucial ships, but also to noise packing, packaging, packaging, packaging. packaging. So did introduce new noise. Packaging for one of its chips. It's what so loud that it reached as high as 105 decibels louder than long hour or full processors. Processor. Two years later, the company withdrew the pack packaging following with a Widespread consumer, widespread consumer complaint complaints. There can be advantage in taping into customers' senses. 
but brands can clearly go too far. Excellent. Thank you so much, Aymara and Miguel, for reading. You have improved. Continue practicing because I hear that you have improved a lot. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, now, what, uh, um, according to the reading, which senses were the focus on the marketing? I'm going to make it smaller in case that you want to read back again, so that you can answer the part A. Okay, which sense do you think that they are using according to the reading? Uh, 
I think that they are four. Maybe one of them is the smell. Mm -hmm. and... Hearing. Hearing. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, you see that picture right here. <laughs> so yes, I I might think that hearing is one of the. Mm -hmm. Any other? Any those two? Um, sight. Sight. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. No. Taste. Okay. Uh, El boost. Taste. Let's see. Oh, only those three. Hearing, sight, and smell. Those three were the focus of the marketing strategy experiment that they were conducting. Yes, those three were the the, the focus. Now. Reading the article again, we are going to choose the correct answer for each question. What is this article mostly about? Letter A, how marketing improves consumer sensory experience. Letter B, how to avoid being tricked by sensory marketing strategies. Or letter C, how marketing makes use of senses to influence consumers. Number two, which of these statements is true according to the article? There A, sensory information doesn't have to be obvious to affect our perception of a product. Letter D, sensory information only triggers positive association. Very C. One sense has to influence on how other sense perceive a product. And number three, which of the following is not mentioned in the article? Letter A. Particular sense can drive consumers into a restaurant. B. A white product is considered more reliable by cons by customers. Letter C, packages that produce the wrong sound can drive customers away. I give it that for you to choose the correct answer, and then we're going to check.
Okay, ready? What is the answer for the first question? What is the article mostly about? I'm going to hear. What is the article mostly about? Uh, <clears throat> me, teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, I think uh, the first one is the letter C, how marketing makes use of the senses to influence influence consumers. consumers. Yes, that is correct. It's letter C. Thank you so much. Number two, which of these statements is true according to the article? I want to hear for number two. Uh, I think that it's letter B. Sensory information only trigger positive associations. Huh? Oh, it was close. <laughs> it's letter A. Thank you so much. Um, it says sensory information doesn't have to be obvious to affect or perception of a product. That's kind of pretty. I would have said B too. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much. Number three, which of the following is not mentioned in the article? Volunteer? Letter C. Letter C. Oh, it's letter B. A white product is considered more reliable by customers. Okay. Okay. Now we can move. Let's see what's next. I was reading exercise for us to practice our reading comprehension. You did a very, very good job. Uh, and this is the last part of section number two. Now we're going to start section number three, at least to introduce it. And remember that you, you have complete section number one, the exercise on the platform, section two, and also the midterm exam, which should be completed. Um, now that we start section number three, the topic or the name of the unit is branding. And this section, we're going to sketch the basics of the branding process for a personal company, identify the brand components of well-known national brands, design a basic checklist for the step to define and brand of the product, describe strategies to make the brand memorable. So we're going to continue working with branding and uh, vocabulary. We have uh, the benefits of a product branding, for example, confirm credibility, emotional connection, loyalty, corporate brand product, brand, personal brand, etc. And also the brand components, for example, identity, image, positioning, equal, equity, and differentiation communication gap, etc. To start with section number three, we have a conversation. This is on page 25 of your material. Okay. This is the conversation that we are going to practice. Um, they are uh, Josue and Amy. They are speaking about branding. Um, Volunteers, I need two volunteers to role play the conversation. Me sure. too. Thank you so much. Anybody else? Matiel, thank you. Okay. Um, I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diapers. What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you. Rather than getting getting the one sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that's that is the problem. People are calling them Joshua's, 
but that sounds just bad. And I can't come up with any better idea. You could call them. No problem. No problem. Has become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Excellent. Let's switch words, please. Okay. I would like to create a brand for me, environment friendly, dear purse. What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the ones sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that is the problem. People are calling them Joshua, but that sounds just bad, and I can't come up with any better idea. You, call, you could call them no brand. Uh, no brand has become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Excellent. Very well done with pronunciation for both of you. Great. Thank you so much for helping me with this. Any question about the conversation? Maybe vocabulary, meaning, I guess, pronunciation. You did it excellent. Can you imagine people calling uh, the, the uppers Joshua's? <laughs> it's fun. Joshua's, the upper. So, the fun. word, uh, well, diapers is correctly pronounced diapers. It's, yes. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yes, it's diapers. Any other question? Besides the upper? Okay, about this conversation, we have to answer this um, question. What product is Josue selling? Do you remember? What is the uh, product? Uh -huh. Diaper. Yes. Diaper. Friendly diapers. <laughs> yes. Friendly diapers. <laughs> and what is a feeling characteristic of this product? Remember that appealing is like attractive. It's the same meaning as attractive. So what is an appealing characteristic of this product? Uh, they are a uh, envir friendly environment. Yes, they are environmentally friendly. It's very, very appealing. And uh, what is the target audience interested in buying the product for Swiss sales? I think, uh, well, the people that goes to shop to the, to the supermarket, I guess. Mm, yes. Any other idea? Maybe, yes. If people who will shop in the supermarket, specifically parents. <laughs> or people with newborn babies. Very good. Now let's continue. What does Amy suggest? Do you remember? What does Amy suggest? Uh, she suggests to to calling them with no, with no brand. Mm -hmm. Call them no brand. Now, the, question, the last question. Have you ever heard of this marketing strategy, no brand? Well, actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> Same for me. <laughs> okay. 
Great. Thank you so much for your participation and answering these questions. Now we can move to the building vocabulary part. And we're going to be matching the types of brandings to its correct descriptions, and then we're going to compare. Um, in the type of branding category, we have a product branding, personal branding, corporate branding, geographical branding, cultural branding, and then we have the concept. So we're going to do the matching. Probably we will need to use a dictionary or to have a better idea of what kind of marketing is described in the concept on the right hand side. I give you time for you to complete the vocabulary exercise. Let, let me know please when you're ready.
We finished the vocabulary yet, Tarzan? Yes, teacher. Okay. Can you hear your answer? Uh, okay. Um, the first one, product branding. It's in the last one. It's how a product interacts with its consumer audience through design, logo, and advertising. Personal branding. Uh, personal branding is the the practice of people marketing themselves and their careers as brands. Yes, correct. Thank you so much. That is number two here. Number three, corporate branding. Uh, it refers to the practice of promoting the brand name of a corporate entity as opposed to specific products or services. Great, excellent. And number four? Number four is, uh, it's used to draw a positive connection between a product and the identity of a geographical region. That's good. And finally, number five. Number five, uh, a type of branding that develops a reputation about the environment and people of a particular location or nationality. Excellent. That, that's okay. Great job with the answers are correct. Thank you so much for sharing. And I think that because of time, let's see. I think that this is our last exercise for time. Yeah, the next exercise is too long as to cover today. And I think that time is over. So I'm going to stop doing. Oh, okay. So remember that you need to work on the platform exercises from section one, two must be finished and also the midterm exam. Uh, let me know if you need assistance with your exercises since we are checking. And there is uh, more than half of the class that has not finished even section one. There is some people who is missing section one and two. So please try to work on them as, as in a timely manner. And if you need a, assistance, just let us know. If um, just send a picture and with the number of exercises, so we can assist you faster. Also, if possible, you have to finish the midterm exam. We're going to go over those exercises from the midterm exam tomorrow, with God willing. So for today, it is time to rest. Thank you so much for joining, for your participation, and see you tomorrow. Okay, so tomorrow. Yes, well. See you Good tomorrow, night. teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye -bye. Que se mejore. You are better. Thank you so much. Thank you.